Welcome back to the Forum Podcast. We're back. We've hit reset. Give this a go back at Easter time for the two of the north. I think there were sort of issues or something there that they were weren't getting the numbers. And I was like, right, let's 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 talk to the north. So yeah, I'll give it a go. Uh, tried a few different things afterwards. Didn't work out. Since then, I've sort of spoke to different guys about it. Would you up for a bit of a chat, record it, put it out there? So the idea of this is to give a bit of a platform for us all. Cyclists, sponsors, backers, organizers, photographers, pit men, helpers, commuters, just anyone that's involved in the cycling community, but more of a, another media outlet. You know, we can't put this on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So yeah, let's all get together and uh, just get this all out there. A bit more information, but a bit more crack, basically. So coming up in today's episode, you know, I did record this the other night. Finally got off off the computer and had an email or. An Instagram message from him saying, yeah, I'll be up for it. We have an interview coming up with David Conroy, National Cyclocross Champion. So I'm going to catch up with him in the next few minutes and see where, where he's at, what he's doing, what his plans are. So, yeah, this is the whole idea. Just have a chat with boys. A bit more relaxed than being on screen as opposed to just having the sound recorded. So, yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do is just firstly run through what's happened in the last week or so with cyclocross. So last Monday night, uh, we had an indoor cyclocross at e tracks in Moira. It's an uh, electric motorbikes venue, uh, and it's indoors, so it was a great idea. Big money, though. Uh, when, I, when I say big money, big money for us cyclists that don't really have to have big overheads when, when organizing events. But yeah, it was, it was a success. Um, what we had, loads of kids racing. Just shy of 100 people turned up. Um, I think it was about 40 to 50 elites turned up. And we had race one, race two. The top half of each race went through to the final. So everyone got to, to race twice. Uh, I punctured my race, so it was me out of the, the overall winning. And Thomas Creighton won uh, from Sean Nolan. And we got out of the woodwork, Chris McGlinchey. Uh, his tubs must have still been wet or, uh, yeah, his tubs must have been uh, down off a bit because he ended up rolling the tub and, and sliding a bit but yeah it was a good turnout uh the elite women uh the, there was only a few turned up they jumped in with us as well the underage women jumped in the, with the elite men as well held their own sharp elbows so yeah good success looking at trying to run another one between christmas and new year's that week of you know when nobody knows what day of the week it is trying to we're looking at maybe running another one then keeping on all the socials and well yeah well, fingers crossed we get it uh sorted so that was last monday tuesday we woke up to uh, got on facebook to see that kalinchi cc had been told by the council that the race wasn't happening uh i then put e tracks and kalinchi in touch with each other to see if they could do anything i think there was an issue with car parking so it didn't happen so sunday's race was cancelled so the only thing we to do was to head down south to the specialized supercross cup at well i was pronouncing it Kil- 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 it's actually pronounced Kilternan. So me, Jim Adams, Thomas Adams, uh, Chris Cameron and Mark Johnson, new guys out of the club. We all bounced in the van, drove down, early start. Uh, great course, great setup. I've rode it there in the past. Um, and yeah, real, real good venue. Top half is round out skirts of football pitches, manicured grass as such, through a hedge line. And then we'll have the the whoops, like, uh, as you would see in the Belgium TV and some of the crosses. Whoops, uh, permanent boards, bit of single track off camber, heavy, long grass. Um, yeah, it was good, good racing. I didn't see the sharp end of the race now. And Paul O'Reilly won it, uh, squeak. Now, we weren't gridded. Well, anyone from the north that hadn't been racing much down there wasn't gridded. And there was a whole issue with, oh, the gridding's going to be a bit of an issue. How, how are we going to get up through? wasn't an issue for Graham and he, he managed to get up there and finished I think it was second or third so he was in the mix as well came past me um, just went for it uh, also in the mix was uh, the, 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 the vets were in the mix as well Alan Bingham uh, hats off to him as well at the sharp end of the race I say I didn't see it apart from whenever they were going down the other side of the tape uh, maybe two three minutes down but yeah, great venue, great race, uh, great setup, uh, double pits, uh, women's race as well. Special mention to Annie Anya Dockerty. Under 14s was in the lead of the elite women's. You know, think of that 
in the men's perspective in under 14 riding the elite race and leading it uh, so yeah hats off to her uh, so that was Sunday's race in Kil Kiltarnan, Kiltarnan. Um so next week is our Ma Cross all the entry for that is on cyclonster.com so jump on there uh, so yeah we're just going to cut across now to this interview so we have David Conroy here who I've, I've tracked down the last night to see him he was in Spain but where are you now Dave? I'm back, back, well, back in my base for my European base for the season. I'm in Belgium. Belgium, and that's with Martin. That's with Martin, who's Thanks. very kindly putting up with me for, for I think, the first thing. How long have you been there for? Uh, I've been here, oh, that's a good question actually, since Spain, so kind of two, three, three weeks ago, I think. Okay, so you drove to, well, you got the boat to Spain, is that right? And then did yeah, a race or two there? I got the boat to Spain. It kind of just worked out this year. Uh, I had a contract to race to Bilbao on the yeah. 27th and 28th of October, I think. End of October, anyway, early November. And uh, it just worked out the boat, the ferry from Cork to Santander in yeah. Spain was €150. Euro, Brilliant. Which was uh, much cheaper than... Uh, previous years I've flown to the races, which was yeah. much cheaper than doing that. And then also it meant I was... Kind of, I was on mainland Europe, so I was halfway to Belgium. Yeah. Whereas last year I drove, I flew to race in Spain, flew home, and then drove from Ireland, across England, through England, and then got. So I ended up with two ferries plus driving through England to get to Belgium. Yeah. And it worked out. It was that was more expensive option this year. It actually worked out a, a good over half, over half the price. And what are you What are you driving? Uh, so I'm driving a uh, Volkswagen seven seater kind of a car base it's back to the rafters car car afford slash van uh, insurance at the moment is really hard to get on okay, a van yeah. so yeah. Car. it's as close to a van as i can get without being one yeah so what's the plans then so this weekend is cockside for you yeah yeah this weekend racing one race cockside world cup is on sunday so uh then looking at my calendar there is uh, kind of a non-classification race next Saturday, I believe. This is next, yeah, next Saturday. Uh, in Essen, I yeah, yeah, yeah. And his plan is, I think, I'm going to do that one because the eighth of December, something that following Sunday is Zonhoven. Um, unfortunately, I will not be doing. I had originally planned to do that this year. Uh, will not be happening this year because okay. I am heading away on a training camp to Spain. Okay. And then that's you right into December. And then what's, what about January? Build up to the champs? Yeah, January. So that's why I like that. I'm taking a training camp from the 8th of December until the 17th, I think. Okay. Uh, only booked today or yes, only booked yesterday. Um, Are you for somewhere warm? Yeah, heading to Calpe. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, there's a couple of guys, a couple of guys and a girl going over. So I'm heading over with them. Um, into the champs. And then anything after the champs? Yeah, well, the plan, yeah, January is always a big month in cross. So, yeah, the January, 12th of January is the champs. And then for sure on the 19th of January, there's a World Cup in France. And then the 26th of January is the World Cup in Hoogerheide in the Netherlands. Yeah. And um, so I'm definitely I'm doing both of those anyway. Um, okay. Worlds, I obviously would like to go. And that's the plan. Fingers, cro uh, fingers crossed for the world. Yeah, no, nobody knows. Yeah. Kind of a fingers crossed. It's a yeah. little bit in the air at the moment. I've sent some emails myself just to have a little look, but yeah. I haven't. Well, that that was again. That was only today, so I don't know. Hopefully, here back. And you've rode the course at the nationals. You've already done that race, haven't you? There was a yeah, one I was there. Yeah, I was there a couple of yeah, just shortly before the weekend or so before I left for Spain. So middle okay, of October. Yeah. And what's that course like? Um, it's. Good. They've got the definitely. There was quite a lot of potential. Um, the race I done isn't the, like that. It was kind of a test event. They already knew there was a couple of areas I wanted to work on. It was quite slow when I done it. Um, there wasn't any really tarmac or hard ground. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that's going to be changed for the race. So um, it'll be a, it'll be a tough race. They have a kind of a a little kind of hill. Yeah, More, like a like a dune, really a dune as quite a sand dune because it is near the beach. 
Um, but it's quite in, that's they're okay. hopefully if they utilize they've got one one really good section on it and then they've got another section which at the test event didn't flow quite okay, as well. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully that flows a bit better on. I've seen national. a couple of photos now. Of the grass, the grass, and like as, as I would call it, manicured. As it was like sort of the heavier sort of uh, like reeds and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So talk to me. I sort of mentioned to you about the funding, uh, and if you give any advice to like young riders, like what you're doing, hats off to you. You know, you're getting in a car, you're driving to Spain, driving to Belgium. Um, if you could just tell people how how you're doing it, and yeah. Uh, funding, yeah, funding is uh, most uh, well, nearly and mostly entirely self-funded. Uh, so when I came, I'll kind of do a build-up. When I came home last year, I done all the races until the end of February. So I was home. I was home. I think on the fifth of March, and then I was into sort of middle, second or third week in March. I started working again. So okay, yeah in a car garage as a mechanic trying right, right. kind of thing uh, so I was working nine to six five days a week doing that and I done that the pretty much nearly sure it was the whole way through the summer I done that until September okay I went to China so that's 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 and, what and you had the mountain bike champs as well uh, yeah I, oh, I think I took I kind of used up a bit of all day or they yeah, yeah. finally gave gave me I think three days off for that or something. You, you won the mountain bike champs then? Yeah, yeah I so was double elite champion. Yeah, yeah, double elite champion. Yeah, it was okay. kind of yeah, yeah. Wasn't, wasn't entirely expecting it because like that I didn't think I had the best run up and lead up into it. But yeah, sometimes out. that takes the pressure off you. Yeah. Okay, and so the whole the whole team. It's Scott. Scott. What, what's the full title of the, of your team? Um, currently it's got Eurocycles.com but okay. uh, first of January it is changing to Scott Quanta okay. which is Quanta Capital they're a new sponsor oh, yeah, yeah. who yeah. came on board ok brilliant and, so and that's the outfit with Paddy isn't it? yeah that's still Paddy so Paddy's, Daly. Paddy's, Paddy's the team manager yeah so brilliant he's signed up a few few other youngsters to yeah give them. I've yeah, so I've been with Paddy. This will be kind of the fifth season, I think. So I, I actually started with him in cyclocross. Yeah. He, he took took me on as a mountain bike rider, but it was in winter, so I've done cyclocross. So this will be the fifth season, I think, I've raced for Paddy, maybe the sixth. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, so, yeah, we've started. It's inter- It's been interesting how we've both, uh, as I've progressed, the team has progressed kind of yeah. the match with the support level and that. And, exactly. Yeah. So the younger riders are going to see what you're doing. And go right. Okay, this is this is all possible. This is how it's done, and and put your heads together. And yeah, brilliant, fair yeah. Um, so that's that's Paddy set up. I'll have to get him in for a chat as well, and to see see how he's you know from his side of the, the fence, how, how he's doing it. Yeah. And what's what's the bikes you're on? Because I can remember Frankenstein bike. <laughs> Frankenstein, yeah, that was three years ago or two years. Ago. Well. He made a comeback. I had an accident on one bike, and he made a comeback in the middle of the season. But uh, no, that's they're finished. I'm now fully on Scots. So mm-hmm. I think the last three seasons I've been on. And Shimano or Shram? Oh, Shimano. I'm not a. I'm not a fan. Yeah, I actually, seen today that Two Nords was going back to a single ring. I think that's what his issues was that he was on a double. Shram. Uh, I no, I thought the whole team, whole Telenet team, were on the single red, well, yeah. red four of us cassette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's had words. issues. So you're riding the Scott bikes, uh, Shimano, uh, yeah, yeah your t- Scott Addict CX. Um, then, you like yeah. your t- you like your tubs, you like your I tub like selections. Tubs. I run so I yeah, got a deal. Challenge tires are support supported by Challenge tires. Yeah. Uh, so they have five, well, they have six in total, but five that are available to the public, and they're yeah. the five that I use. Um, yeah. And then there's Next Wheels, also support me. Okay. Uh, and then uh, Shimano Group sets I buy myself on the bikes. Yeah. And that's kind of the main... There's a main, on, but, main no. setup. So back home here, there's a bit of a, a bit of a chit chat with the National League. Uh, what's your thoughts on that on, on the National League? Uh, National League, yeah, there's 
kind of two sides to this as far as I know or kind of think. Um, there's probably the side that I fall on being impatient and young and whatever, but uh, I would be on the side, yeah, there's just pick a race, one of the Munster Leagues, one of the Supercross Cup, Specialised Ireland one, one of the Ulster Leagues and something in Connacht then as well. And yeah. just kind of pick pick out one race or the organisers put together one race and call it a National League. Yeah. Which I think a couple of people have kind of floated that idea on and off over the last couple of years. Um, yeah. Andy, as cyclocross coordinator, his view on it, and I can understand this this standpoint as well, is that it needs to be more. It needs to be something a bit different. It, it kind of needs needs to have a title sponsor and needs to be yeah. a, almost... Yeah, it's putting uh, all the small pieces together. Is, yeah. Is, well, and, and somebody needs to take it and, and go, right, this is it. But yeah, the, the big uh, a sponsor would be the, the big help, yeah. but... And sponsor four rounds that the four rounds are uh, consistent. That the, yeah. the setup and the organisation and the timing and all that is consistent. That that that's yeah. double the, pits. Uh, uh, well, not necessarily a concrete start, but you know a, a paved road start and yeah. finish area would be great. Big like, yeah. There, there's certain standards, in my point of view, that that it, it needs as well. You know, but yeah, it's getting it's standardised so that all the four races are. You kind of you know you're going to a national league and you know yeah. what you're, you know what you're going to get and what you're not going to get. Yeah, prize money. Uh, so all that I can under- yeah, yeah. yeah, I can understand both sides of it. Um, so yeah, it's hopefully hopefully something gets sorted either way. Yeah, there's a few things happening as far as I know, but um, whether or not it comes off next year or the following year, we don't know. But it's, it's it's so many heads to put together. But I think if if it happens and there's a few mistakes, then. People can go right. Okay, this this needs addressed for next year. But yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed. But on the other side, then we don't want it to take away from the likes of the the the, the Supercross League or, or the Ulster League. You know, that's that's the other side of the the argument for that. Yeah, no, they're both they're both healthy, and you don't want to uh, upset them. Don't want to upset them or or take away from either of them because they are both very successful at the moment and there's yeah. a monster league this year which looks looks like yeah, it's looks good yeah success. yeah yeah they had a big sound richard may has seen a couple of photos of richard and the big long sound pit on the horse so uh like a horse track it must have been or something yeah that on so what what if there was any other changes to the local scene would would, would you do anything um uh not nothing in particular that kind of uh it's kind of been, yeah, I've missed it. Obviously, this year I haven't done, I've done, I only done a few races, four, four races in Ireland, I think, five maybe. Oh, and then kind of last year as well. So, I, as far as I know, it look, everything looks okay. From, yeah, it's healthy. I'm, I'm nearly healthy. more of an outsider at the moment. Yeah, it's it, it, interesting on that. Yeah, as you say, it's healthy. It's uh, It looks like overall the level looks to have gone up. Yeah, I would say it definitely has. It, there's more... There's, more more depth and the, the the sharp end's a lot more compact compressed at the, the top 10 as well yeah yeah again like that i don't know if obviously in a month that i've been away or the two months that i've been six weeks eight weeks since i've been racing in ireland that level changes people change get fitter faster people come into their own yeah and what sort of summer they've had but uh it looks like it's been a bit of a changing of the guard in terms yeah of there's there's guys going forward and guys going back and even even the women's race you know there's nothing that's been consistent as yet yeah. last few seasons there's definitely you know, like yourself's been le- winning leading the leagues week in week out and this this season's been been good you know from racing racing point of view and racing even for the spectators as well yeah so well that's us mate uh good luck at the weekend and uh hopefully see another photo of you and uh thank you very much We'll go from there, and I'll see you. I'll probably see you uh, on the line at, at the champs in January. Will be the next time yeah. I'll probably see you. Yeah, that'll be. That's the. That's the only time I'll be home. I'll be racing over here until then. Yeah, keep up the good work, mate, and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Cheers. All right. Cheers.